Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on Life is Strange 2. The last episode was very upsetting. I am very sorry for the loss of Mushroom to the damn mountain lion. It was tragic. It's upsetting. It's a bad storyline that videos and movies and games need to stop using that trope to make us feel sorry for the characters and just keep the damn animals alive, okay? Okay? Also, I put a animal violence, well not animal violence, animal attack warning at the beginning of the video. I am, someone replied, aren't most of your videos animal attacks? And I thought that was really funny because, you know, ARC. Um, but this one was obviously a little bit different. And it was more specifically just for Tolkis, even though I very clearly named the video about Mushroom. Uh, if Tolkis wanted to watch it, I wanted him to know. And that's okay. Uh, uh, anyone else who might not like animal violence as well, you know, it doesn't hurt to throw it up there. Um, but the but the but the comment about Arg gave me a good chuckle. But anyway, uh, let's move on from that sad sad episode, and the boys will continue a new journey of their own to their grandparents. So I will stop talking, and let's go. in this song is all over the place and it's driving me bananas.
<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Uh-oh. What if they went on vacation? Or... something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time... What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. <laughs> well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. We know this lady. We know this house. We know where we are. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Gee, Stephen, lady. may I talk to you for a second? So hungry, my belly hurts. Oh, Steve. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. Maybe. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Really want to involve other people. Well, maybe he can help. Feels so awkward to be here. Yep, I bet it does. Claire, you know. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. They're talking about clearly what happened to their dad, thinking that Sean may be guilty of killing him. Okay. All or right, the office, not not their dad, not not killing their dad, the officer, or whomever, or or whomever. But you get what I'm trying to say. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about? Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? 
seriously? Effing bullshit? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to swear because I don't think that would help my case with them. I'm not going to say I don't know, but obviously Sean didn't do it. I'm not even going to say Daniel did it, even though I guess technically Daniel did do it. But we're going to play the seriously card here. Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? had no choice. I freaked out to protect Daniel. Well, I don't think they're going to understand if we say to protect Daniel because what? Are they going to think like protecting Daniel from having to enter the foster care system? Like we're not obviously going to tell our grandparents that Daniel has powers. Um, had no choice, I feel like is given the previous discussion, not the best one because I think that alleviates to some sort of guilt. Like, I had no choice. Well, why did you have no choice? What What are you hiding? Is it Daniel's powers to protect? Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go with I freaked out. I think, I think you know, when you panic, you don't make rational decisions and running away on their part could be one of them. So. It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and... And I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> you know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, uh, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Oh boy, down to Mexico, figure it out. Oh man, this is a hard, a hard decision to make because I, I, I feel like if they, if he says that I want to go down to Mexico, they're not, they're going to be like, what? What are you going down to Mexico? What are you talking about? If I say figure it out, I don't know what the repercussions of that are. I mean, I don't know what the repercussions of down to Mexico are either. Maybe they'll assume he's guilty and a fugitive at that point. Um, I feel like figure it out, even though like we know that perhaps we're going to go to Mexico. I don't think necessarily they need to know because I, it's not like we're going to be here long term with them anyway, either way. Um, although my gut says to stay down to Mexico over figure it out. And I'm kind of wanting to go with that vibe. So... I guess we'll just say down to Mexico. Go down to Mexico? To Puerto Lobos? Dad has a family house there. Sean. You can't run away from the law like, yeah, like see. fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Don't, don't question it. Just say thank you. Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, 
no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. Mm. We can stay? Oh, look Serious? at his shirt. Awesome. Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. He's like, yes, feed me, thank you. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this. Yes, except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? No. And Sean. Oh. Um, and Mushroom. Oh. And you and Grandpa. Oh my god, and, I love uh, this kid. Everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please. Give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. <laughs> Well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember, but it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We got to make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. Does it hurt feeling strong? I don't know if it hurts. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kinda itchy though. <laughs> and exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Cute. Uh, one week later, okay. There's some clothes hanging up, clothes on the floor. Little hula girl. Oh, man. I could sleep all day long in this bed. Oh, but Probably I'm way too hungry. Clean a little bit. Wonder if Brody noticed his hula girl was missing. Dad's picture. How do we look at Dad's picture? This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. Oh, man. I miss that dirty little dog. I do too. So much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Sounds like you said cabbing and not cabin. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Hey, dude, they'll keep your ears warm. Tanya was training his precision with ease. Oh, Fucking that's, awesome. that is awesome. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Let's get some clothes on, shall we? All right. I'm allowed to go out now. All right, let's see what this kiddo's doing in here. Oh, wait. Yep. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Good. I thought that might be he a... He deserves to be spoiled. A... A, a door to the bathroom. Sean! Finally. Oh, this is cool. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. okay. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. <laughs> I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Right on. Had a look option. Here we go. I'm glad they get along so good. Me too. Daniel's definitely the ideal grandson. <sighs> Fuck. I broke this thing like... Ten years ago. <laughs> I can't believe they fixed it. And kept it. I 
I don't want to just start going into other rooms while like they're they're here. Oh man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. <laughs> Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. Yikes. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Well, that's very nice. It's crazy how everything is neat and tidy here. Quite have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. Yeah. All right, I guess. I don't know. It's been locked ever since we got here. Ah, so that must be... I kind of don't give a fuck. Oh. So I'm assuming this is... I don't want to go in their room. But I'm nosy. We'll see what happens. Better not sneak in. They yep. won't like it. Yep. Okay. That's it. That's all. Good. I'm glad. That scratched my itch. Okay. Let's go downstairs for breakfast. <laughs> okay. So that's Better the hit the kitchen room. quick. Claire's waiting for us. Nice fish tank. Living room. They got a flat screen TV. A little lazy boy corner over there. Oh my. Look who's awake. It's -a me. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Daniel! <sighs> breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Need, we'll, we'll offer help. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep. Has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, uh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. <laughs> Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle. It's nice. Let's not do anything to rock the boat with them. So. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would might, just get lost in Seattle. We might know those folks. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Oh. Cool indeed. You're gonna be his hero, Daniel. You don't even know it. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh, oh, stop. Just stop. <sighs> stop it. You crazy? Hey, what's going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, <laughs> language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? What? <laughs> Look at Sean just so, like, menacing there. Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. Whoa. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? Daniel needs to know. I want to ask why lock it then to be snarky and curious, but I think it's important that Dan, because Daniel's so curious about his mom, so we'll lean on Daniel's side. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. I know he doesn't care anyway, but I want to know if she's been contacted. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? I want to tell her to chill out. They're making me uncomfortable. Like, I get it. I know, like, we kind of showed up after all this time, and it's a little bit of a burden to have grandkids you never really, like, talk to or know very well. But I don't know. They're just being... Like, I understand they're being grateful, but they're making, I don't know, they're making me uncomfortable. And like I said, I want to tell them to chill out, but I won't. We'll just say, of course, and go with it. Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Okay, dokie, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. On the next episode, we will explore the outside, and I wonder if we'll run into anybody else that we may know. So, if you like this episode, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I better that catch way, up with Steven and get those keys. You know when I put out a new video, and I Daniel's will going nuts in here. see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. Oh, wait! We know this phone call. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'll be happy to let Stephen know his services are required. Claire and Stephen are super kind to us, but... a bit smothering. What bad guys? What do you mean? Wow. That was like, that's cool. Okay, anyway, all right. I'll see you guys next time. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. Okay, bye.